The key success factor for the establishment of a national early warning system in Norway was a joint initiative across public agencies, as the Norwegian Water Directorate, the Meteorological Institute, the Railway and the Road Authorities. In my presentation, I claim that in order to get a proper use of the early warning system, it's crucial to to have a proper uh, contribution to the system. Therefore, it's uh, important to have a comprehensive system where data could be shared seamlessly uh, between the local road operators and the forecasters that work on the regional scale. So I was here to present the history of landslide debris flow early warning in the United States, uh, discuss sort of the trials and tribulations of operating such a warning system, and then to discuss the future directions of landslide debris flow early warning. Our presentations here today is talking about the uh, UK's uh, Natural Hazard Partnerships Daily Hazard Assessment and we're talking about how our landslide work feeds into that on a daily basis. Um, the most important thing there is really showing the importance of partnership working where we're bringing geologists, geomorphologists, meteorologists together to help understand landslides and the processes that cause landslides better. I was presenting the monitoring system for avalanches and landslides in Iceland. Uh, I work at the Met Office. Our responsibility is the monitoring of settlements and to order evacuations during periods of high danger. I guess that my key message would be to remember to include local knowledge in local early warning systems. So in the presentation we gave an overview of our landslide forecasting system in Italy that we have developed in the last uh, 10 years almost and uh, we can safely say that now we can uh, we are close to forecasting landslide triggered by rainfall in in the country and the message is that these things can be done and this can be at least in Italy a good help to reduce landslide risk particularly risk uh, of uh, fatalities here we presented the, our operational approach to landslide, shallow landslide and debris flow uh, early warning system in Piemonte in Italy. Uh, we make use uh, of uh, uh, geologist, uh, geological analysis and also rain gauge and weather radar data. Also now casting tools are needed to properly forecast landslide occurrence. Uh, the, measure, the message is that uh, it is possible to do something uh, and uh, the science is uh, moving toward a more uh, complex and operational warning system for the next future. In my presentation I gave a short overview of the methods uh, we are using in Austria to deal with landslides uh, and the key message is we don't really have an operating early warning system when it comes to landslides. We are monitoring a lot of landslides, but we don't have an operational system uh, using early warning with landslides. We try to do that in the future by doing uh, hazard zone mapping more detailed to landslides. So Switzerland doesn't have an early warning system for landslide and that's surprising because we have so much experience on that process. I'm convinced that in the future the information of soil wetness will be key for future early warning systems. In Sweden we have an early warning information for extreme weather events, for, ex uh, for intensive rainfalls or floods, but we would like to improve that system and uh, enable uh, predictions that are relevant for debris flow prone areas. There's significant interest in the Western United States to expand the uh, post-fire debris flow warning system. So the purpose of my talk was to discuss the new methods for doing so and, and how we can address the needs of the public and, and be able to warn for post-fire debris flows. In 2011 and 2013, the NVE issued early warnings on landslides for the Gudbrandsdalen in southeast Norway. 
It was uh, one of the first times we issued warnings uh, at a regional scale and from observations of landslides the early warnings seemed to be correct and precise. I presented a case study on uh, the permafrost slide in uh, Mauerfelshirna in the north and the changes in focus on research that we have done since then. Uh, my key message would basically be climate change is real. The countries with the uh, early warning system evaluate the forecast based on how many landslides occur during uh, a particular rainfall event. And uh, therefore, um, upgrading of inventory is mandatory uh, after each forecast. Sharing and testing threshold methods would benefit the international community. Different methods are used in different countries. For example, a daily or hourly antecedent rainfall and snow melt, simulated soil moisture content, and now casting using weather radar. Uh, warning messages are distributed to the public and stakeholders uh, uh, through website, uh, email, uh, SMS and social media. However, all participants uh, uh, express the necessity uh, to conduct uh, uh, frequent surveys to um, verify how end users perceive our uh, warning messages and if they take action. Many participants express the necessity uh, to distinguish between uh, uh, technical performance and user perceptions. Many works are in progress on this topic, uh, uh, learning mainly uh, from other natural hazards on how evaluation are conducted. Major outcomes of the workshop were the establishment of an international group of experts that will have regular uh, meetings to discuss the methodologies used in regional landslide early warning systems.